All right, so let's get to this last topic, man. And we can move to this one really, really quick, man. I was listening to a podcast with Lindsey Hunter on it. And uh, Lindsey Hunter, man, if you know him, point guard, played for Detroit. Won some, uh, uh, I, I think he was a backup for the Detroit team that beat the Lakers. You know, but I think he was also there when Grant Hill and, and, and Stackhouse was there together, or Grant Hill and Allen Houston. So, he, you know, he, he was with Detroit for a while. And he was on the Detroit pa- podcast. What up, though? And... They asked him about Michael Jordan. And I, I think they asked him about the difference between him and Kobe. And I like what he said. Uh, but he mostly said something about Mike. And then he said, Kobe, you know, I'll let you, I'll let you hear it. The difference, in, and people don't understand, like, Michael probably was the most athletic two guard. Michael probably was the most athletic player. Because he had a 48-inch vertical. Ooh. Michael had the highest vertical ever recorded in NBA history. You didn't know that, did you? No. Yeah. 48 inches. 6'6". Six, six. So it was different. Vince Carter has like a 46, 44, something like that. Oh, man. MJ had 48. So his athleticism was totally different. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was just different. It was a different guard. Kobe wasn't as athletic, but Kobe was so polished. He was like, a student. Kobe had a counter for everything you did. He was one of those guys, man, that he felt like whatever you did, it didn't matter. Like, I got something for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that, that made him a tough guy. Co- so he's given the contract. Well, he, he said Kobe wasn't as athletic as Mike, but but Kobe had a counter for everything you tried to do. And it's coming from a defensive guru in Lindsey Hunter. That's, what, that's how he made his bread, defense. He can make a shot, too, if he was open. But he's saying, man, Kobe – it was difficult to guard Kobe and Mike. But what made Mike so very difficult is because at the two guard position, for him to be as um, skilled as he was, he was a freak athlete. And he said Kobe wasn't a freak athlete, but what he what he lacked in physical attributes, he made up in technical attributes. So if May, if Mayweather is one of the most technically sound boxers we've ever seen, he's got great quickness defense. You can't hit him. His counters are good. If you swing on him, it, you go pay for it. If you miss, uh, you know all of these things. That's that that's that's what Kobe is in basketball as far as his technically sound skill set. He's so technically sound, right? And he was athletic, but I mean. You can't beat Michael Jordan with the hands the size of a seven footer with speed and quickness like a point guard with the jumping ability at 48 inches and the hang time of, of, of a paper airplane. Like you, I mean, when you, when you put Kobe in that, in that physical, uh, uh, you know, in that physical body, that's what Mike was. Right. So Mike, so Kobe was Mike without, the blessings of uh, the physical freakness that he had. He was an athletic, above average athletic guy. He just wasn't a freak. Like LeBron and MJ are freaks athletic. Kobe was just very good, probably top 10%. But Mike and LeBron, they're, they're probably top 1% physically. But but Kobe was that so technically sound. But um, while we're on the subject of, of Mike, Kevin Durant said something interesting it was well. He was getting interviewed by somebody and he, and he was like, look, great Mike in these things, one being the best and five being the worst. I'm going to give you some attributes and you give me the grade for Mike. You rate Jordan's skill sets. So yeah. one is the best, five is subpar. Mm-hmm. Psychologically, how do you rank Michael Jordan? One. Ball handling. One. Defender. One. Mid-range jumper. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> like I said, he was a pure shooter. Like I don't think anybody in the league at that point was shooting the ball better than him. shooting fifty plus percent on the field at the guard position, shooting all J's. Like you have to be a pure shooter. And everything was touching bottoms. Three ball. He didn't shoot a lot because he was so dominant inside the three point line. He didn't need to shoot. It. But when he did, he still knocked something down. I'll say three. So he gave him a one for everything. Ball handling, psychologically. Uh, willpower shooting he gave him a zero for mid-range shooting 
So whatever Steph is as a three-point shooter, a sharp shooter, a lot of people understand that to be the same thing for Mike as a mid-range shooter. Anything inside the three, Mike was a as good a shooter as Steph was. Right. And he's also shooting high 80s for uh, free throws, you know, 84, 85, 86 percent for, you know, uh, free throws. So, you know, it translates. His shooting translate. Right. Uh, but what he shot the most was that mid range. He was a sharp shooter for mid range for someone who started shooting that mid range around year. I, I want to say around the time that uh, the, the triangle offense got implemented. That's when he started developing that mid range. For him to be shooting the mid range that long, and that was the number one shot he used most. Of, I seen Michael Jordan on fast breaks stop for the mid range jump shot, like the way people stop for the three now. Michael Jordan didn't have to get all the way to the rim on a fast break. If you back off too much, I'm pulling up, I'm rising up on your mid range. Bam. Right. So um, he shot that shot more often than not, and he still shot 50% for his career. Right. What people knock Kobe Bryant for is that he shot that shot a lot as well. But this is the difference between him and Mike. Mike was getting to the rim a lot real early until he started shooting more jump shots. But Kobe was able to study Mike. So he started shooting at mid range very early, early than Mike did. Right. So he probably didn't have it perfected when he was shooting it. And then he perfected it. But he shot around 45 percent. He was still a sharpshooter for mid-range as well. Um, but it's a cu couple of things that was different for Mike. Mike used to get a lot of air on his uh, uh, on his feet for his jump shots. And I don't think Kobe got that much air when he shot his jump shots, right? So I think when Kobe was shooting over people, it was a little different than when Mike was shooting over people. So they both were sharpshooters, but Mike just shot it at 50 and Kobe shot it at 45, um, which is not bad for a jump shooter. But people use that 45% uh, field goal per, uh, uh, percentage for Kobe and try to make it seem like he wasn't as dominant as a score because someone else like Jordan shot 50% or someone like LeBron shot 50%. But the difference between those three guys is LeBron didn't mostly shoot the jump shot. LeBron mostly shot his shots at the rim, layups and dunks, right? Every now and then the, the jump shot in the three, right? The three a lot lately. Right. Uh, but is that at the rim or three for him? That mid range wasn't the era that he operated at. Uh, but Mike and Kobe did. So, um, of course, your field goal percentage is going to be a little bit higher when you're shooting more, mostly layups and dunks, man. Um, but that's all I wanted to uh, say about it. Uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's not a lot to say about Mike, man. We know Mike's the GOAT. I think everybody in here know Mike is the GOAT. Um, everybody also knows that Kobe is right behind Mike. Right. So, I mean, if we just being real, I know it's fun to have these conversations and and throw LeBron in there and, you know, and, and say, oh, LeBron did X, Y, Z and stuff. But like when we really like when we really being honest with ourselves and, and, you know, really be real, everybody in this chat know that uh, Kobe's better than LeBron and and that Mike and Mike is the GOAT. Uh, Carla from Los Angeles. What's up? What's up, man? It's Roland Curtis. What's up? Um, what's up, man? Uh, so, yeah, so I, I agree. I was saying Michael Jordan's the GOAT and everything like that. And. Uh, I, I think there's always going to be good discussions on because you know I, I think with you and a, a, a lot of channels they'll say there's no discussion <laughs> of who's after Michael Jordan between Kobe and LeBron. But you know I've gone to other LeBron channels and I try to bring up I try to bring up the, the topic and they'll say the same thing in the, in the reverse. They'll say that there's no reason to talk about LeBron and Kobe because they'll say that LeBron uh, it's like a it's like a simple. It's too easy for them to rank LeBron over Kobe, but um, and I I don't agree with either one. I don't think it's easy to rank either one over each other. Uh, after that, I mean, even with the, I mean, I I guess you could easily get them away from the Kareem's and the Magic, but when between those two, Kobe and and LeBron, it's not. I, I go back and forth over who's uh after MJ, but um, do you ever think as far as cause we've always talked about? Uh, those first few years of Kobe Bryant's career being the reason why the numbers are so drastically different between him and Michael Jordan. But um, what do you think the athletics, the difference in athleticism plays in the difference in their numbers? Does that play a lot? Or is it just basically those those first few years of Kobe's career coming off the bench? Uh, no, I think it's a combination of, of several things. 
You know what I mean? It's, it's a combination of, of one came out of high school and he was 18 playing against grown men and one did three years of college and came in a grown man playing against grown men. So I think that uh, is, is a difference. I think uh, being able to, um, you know, the athleticism definitely plays a difference. Uh, I think um, uh, being able to start right away on a bad team versus coming in on a playoff contender that had Shaq already with a coach that didn't want to play. Like all of that plays a difference. It's, it's so many, it's so many different factors that go into it. Uh, I, th- I don't think you can just point to one thing, but it's, it's cool to bring up the differences and understand that and, and know that it's just not an apples to apples comparison when you're comparing MJ, Kobe or Mike. Yeah. I mean, MJ, Kobe I, I, or LeBron. I agree. Yeah. I, I mentioned in the, in the, in the chat that uh, I agree that Michael and LeBron had different athleticism, the different twitch muscles that Kobe didn't have. And Kobe tr- uh, did what he could to compensate for that with, skills and fundamentals and those are things that LeBron doesn't have. So that's why I feel like it's hard to, to judge them because they they both were are were chasing MJ um, in different ways and they both didn't have the same things. And, and then you then you would say Michael had a both. Michael had the skills of Kobe Bryant and he had the athleticism of, of, of uh LeBron James and um and that's why you know it's constantly you constantly see uh, Michael Jordan to go. I just want to bring up one more thing um you took, I think it was on your channel, you brought up, or somebody else's channel, where they brought up the, uh, somebody, the topic of Phil Jackson ranked Michael Jordan over Kobe Bryant because Michael Jordan had bigger hands. And they said that uh, Kobe Bryant was trying to, I guess, compensate for the bigger hands by using those hand grips. And I was right. thinking to myself, yeah, and I was thinking to myself, that's not, I don't think that's going to, that's not going to close the gap because you can't, it's not going to grow your fingers or your hands. So I was wondering that I, when I think about the differences in the injuries, the amount of injuries that Kobe Bryant uh, accumulated over his career, so, as opposed to Michael Jordan, that's another thing where I feel like perhaps Michael Jordan and LeBron's athleticism has allowed them to stay away from as many injuries as a Kobe Bryant. And I, I sometimes felt that, did Kobe Bryant's body break down because he was trying so hard to catch up to MJ through athleticism, such as, you know, uh, acquiring the services of Tim Grover and then also all of the physical training outside and the waking up very early and not, you know, obviously not uh, relaxing so much, not taking, because sometimes it seems that, um, They'll say Michael Jordan, uh, uh, Tim Grover said it, Michael Jordan worked smarter, but Kobe Bryant worked harder. And I think, um, and it's it's, it's, it's kind of hard to believe. I mean, it's kind of tough to see that because Kobe Bryant was such an intelligent person. But uh, he, I think he had, is it possible that he had no other option but to try to work hard? But I thought, I'm thinking that you think that Kobe Bryant's, um, like his, his work ethic did it? Did he possibly overwork his body? You, 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 you asking is if, if if his hard work actually worked against him? Um, I don't, I don't know. It could have, but I mean, Mike worked just as hard as Kobe. I, I mean, don't get it twisted, man. LeBron is working hard. Is is you know well probably not at first until he's seen how Kobe was working at the Olympics. But LeBron works hard too. He's just not working on 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 things like jump shots and stuff like that. Like he's working, he's working on his body and he's working out. But LeBron, Kobe, D Wade, Mike, everybody who is a great is putting in a lot of work, man. It ain't just it ain't just Kobe. We we amazed at what Kobe was doing because he was ahead of his time with it. But he was ahead of his time because he was studying Mike. And if that played a part in his body breaking down, possibly, but it also played a great part in him being better than everybody when he was playing. So. I mean, you can't not do it. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you, you, yeah, you can't you can't preserve yourself because then you go end up, you know, you 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 still go have to uh, close that gap somehow. And like I explained on the last uh, show, I did. You either go close that gap with hard work, or you're gonna have to find uh, players and coaches to close the gap for you. And not having a mid range jump shot is what got exploited for LeBron, and instead of him developing one, he said, "Let's go spread offense, and that way y'all can't stop me from getting to the rim." Yeah, there, there was that year in 2003 where Kobe came in kind of swole, and he was uh, that's when he uh, he was breaking those records for I guess um, most 
I forgot it was like it was like breaking three point records or forty point game records in two thousand three. And then when the issue happened with Colorado, uh, and he, came, he was coming into the I believe the uh, the old four season, everybody noticed how small he looked in comparison to the old three season. And uh, his body, I guess he couldn't work out as much, and then his body got really frail right. and skinny. And um, and again, yeah, I don't know if that also played a part into how the injuries came later on when your body goes yeah. in but goes up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's it's real hard to tell, but I mean, I I know he wouldn't change it, uh, w- even with uh with hindsight, he would still say I'm putting that work in. But thanks for the call, Roland. All right, all right, man. Take all care. Right. Yep. All right, one last call, then we're shutting it down, man. Uh, thanks for the call, Funky time for text. Make sure make hey, make sure you cut YouTube off. What's going on, brother? I turned it off. Right. Hey, how y'all doing today? We good. We good. Right, yeah, we good. Hey, uh, yeah, waiting for this Jason the Kid to get on the, on the line. He's talking a bunch of smack. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Brown sexual. Jason the they, Kid. They, I ain't seeing him here. Kinds. Where is he? I ain't seeing him. Oh, I... no, he's in there. Oh, he's in there. Is he oh, going to call in? in? He, he, he... Oh, no, he won't call in. I told you. Now, they don't They do not do the call in. They, they're not going <laughs> to call in. I don't know why not. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't bite. Not. I don't they, bite. They, they, I, Mel, Mel, see, I think what it is, they, 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 they hear you got that military... Uh, expertise, you sitting back, you looking all calm and cool to think you're, you know, deadly assassin. That's what it is. That's what it is. Good hey, but now, bro, like, like you like we saying with, with with Jordan, uh, he he was the freakish athlete, uh, athlete that, that that people don't, you know, a lot of people weren't alive like we were to actually see him when he came in, like, and to see actually, if you go back and you even go back and look at college, you know, people don't didn't get a chance to see Lynn Bias. See him play. Lynn Bias was cool. See some of the people he's played. A, hey, now you want to now, now I'll tell you this. If there was one person that I was afraid of, I would have been afraid of if I was Michael Jordan. Was it would have been Lynn Bias. Oh, yeah. I'm a t- yeah. I'm a t- that dude was six eight and and he was just as much a freak and he was already built like a like a uh a, a Mack truck. I mean he was LeBron before LeBron. Like he was Lynn Bias was you 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 know where I'm going. That but I mean he had his issues. Yeah, I but agree. with Jordan, the the thing I say with Jordan and 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 Kobe is yes, Mike had more athleticism, absolutely. But the thing that they both had in common was their heart and their they work ethic. Serious. Because because look, and their work, yeah, M- absolutely M- work ethic. MJ nor Kobe, and rest in peace, the land buyers. Neither one of them was weak minded enough to get talked into doing a line on draft night. Exactly. He knew, but but he knew exactly. See, that was a, that was a failing. That was a that was a character flaw. He, he he got like you said a weakness. He Jordan Jordan knew that he didn't want that with his own team when he got drafted to the to the Bulls. When he, right. when he said in preseason, "Hey, that ain't me." And 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 quite frankly, if you go ahead and look at the, he started getting those those people started all of a sudden getting traded and getting out of the league or whatever else, and, and they they often do it somewhere else. They yeah. he I mean he's the driving force on why that that. That was not just the organization. He was the reason. Yeah, he's the reason. He he said when he came back from that injury in his second year with 18 games left, right, to make the playoffs, the Bulls were trying to to tank for the for the uh, for the lottery. Jordan said when he first got there as a rookie, as long as I'm here, we're going to the playoffs. Mm. I'm we going here. We're going to the playoffs as long as I'm here. He said that, and they hadn't made the playoffs. I don't know how many years prior to him getting drafted. Yeah, but the thing was. With with, and that's why that's one of the reasons why I kind of get like, yeah, LeBron is a freak physical specimen, but like the willingness for both Mike and but really more Mike to go into the lane. I mean, to go into the lane like the lane used to be, like literally go over people. Like if you were there, and he was deciding to dunk, you were either taking him out of the air, or you getting dunked on. No, oh, you was gonna get it put on the poster for sure. Exactly, you were getting posterized. Yeah, and, 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 and but you look back. I mean, look at people. People people slip on uh, sleep on uh, Dominique. Dominique was ridiculous before he got injured. Dominique Wilkins was ridiculous. Yeah. There were a whole bunch of people, but Jordan figured it out. He said, "Hey, I'm not. I'm too slight. I got to get bigger." And a lot of people forget this. Jordan's a cute dog. He was getting beat <laughs> up in college. He, <laughs> hey. He ain't, he ain't scared, man. That's what I'm saying. He ain't scared. He was never scared. There was nobody he looked at 
and said, I'm afraid of you. Yeah, I'm he go. I'm a, I'm go. On yeah, this court, he I'm, he definitely you have, you he definitely was me. cut from a different cloth, man. Definitely was cut yeah. from a different cloth. Ain't no JJ Barrera or or, or 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 Jason Terry in his in his uh in his uh <laughs> his past. Hey, I'm just saying, <laughs> ain't nobody like that level went ahead and 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 and, uh, and did that to him. And and if you ever you ever hear his father before he passed, what he talked about in uh, '90, what when when he cried on the bus. When Jordan cried on the bus, no, uh-uh. in the front seat, uh, uh-uh. hey, that's what that's what people don't understand. It wasn't given to him. He had he was getting beat down, and you remember that was Game Seven. Uh, uh, Pippen came up with the migraine. They they were going to beat the the D- Detroit uh, Pistons. I, I believe that by, to my dying day. It's possible. Or they were going. They're going right. At least it's possible. We'll give it that right. Yeah. But he 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 wanted it so bad. That he he cried in his father's arms in the front of that bus, and his team because actually it was uh what's his name um, one of his teammates Willington he's the one who who told the story he said we didn't realize he was human yeah so then, you know, and you know what and that's what that's what made it, that's what made it so bad for Detroit to you know uh, be such an obstacle for him. And then when they finally did the hard work, like he didn't, he didn't go and get Dominique Wilkins to join them so they can beat Detroit. They, nope. they did nope. the the noble thing and kept coming back better individually. All right, we got to get better. How can we beat them? And then they finally exactly. beat them, and it was so disrespectful for them not to, for 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 a player and a team to do it the right way for you not to tip your hat off to them after the game and give them you know respect by shaking their hands. Knowing, knowing what you what you did to that dude for years, and, and, Isaiah even admitted, exactly like, you got to respect. Knew, they knew once they got past once they got past the Bulls, whatever came out of the West, they were not worried about it. Right, you and when, you, once you gotta got to respect the Bulls. We weren't worried about it. Yeah, but then they acted that way when he when he beat them, when he swept them. All of a sudden, now they they showed their character, lack right. of it, and then they they decided to do all this. But hey, the other thing I was gonna say, man, is that uh, I don't know if you've been noticing some of these girls up here talking. All this mess about uh, how Jordan uh, he had all he, now all of a sudden he had a super team in '96. <laughs> now all of a sudden, now now all of a sudden '96 was a super team. Yeah, with 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 with, with, with I think it was was it six, six, four points or six points that Robin was was uh, adding in. Ain't no telling. And it was four or six. It was 19, either way. nineteen or twenty for for Pippen. Yeah, and and that was a super team. See, that's what I like. They, they keep moving the goalposts, brother. They keep moving the, the goalposts. Uh, well, I mean, they might. Nope, they're not moving the goalposts for me because I don't pay. Atten- I don't pay attention to nonsense. No, no, I'm just, I, I exactly. It's, it's just. It's just like. But it, but you you've noticed it, right? You no know, no left hand. Uh, we're done with the ninety. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I noticed. I noticed a little bit, man. But look, I, I've I've had conversations with dudes that think like that over the uh, you know last year, year before last, and then I I really had to realize I can't teach them basketball. They, like. Like having these conversations with them, you're you're talking to someone who has a kid level understanding of basketball. Exactly. And you can't have that conversation with them. You can't you can't tell someone how important shooting is in basketball if they don't understand how important shooting is in basketball. So when we're talking about who's the best and we're you're talking about a guy who can't shoot, and we're talking about a guy who needs the ball, who can't play off the ball, who can't post it. When you're talking about that guy and you're you're vouching for him. And the only thing you can Same tell dude me has 21 is, years and he still ain't add to his bag. Right. He's had 21 years. And the best thing we can say about him now is, well, he's gotten better at shooting threes, and, even though and, he's wide open and stats. Okay. Right? So, I mean, but you know, that's a dip. We're, we're speaking different languages, man. So at that point you gotta, you gotta, you gotta unplug. Like you can't, you can't speak English to someone who don't speak English. You can't speak right. basketball to somebody who don't speak basketball. So it is there, what it is. There you go. There it is, is what it is. Hey, y'all have a good one. Hey, y'all hit that like button. Yeah, do that, man. Three, over 300 people in here, man. We should have at least 300 likes, man. Thanks. Let's get those likes up, man. Uh, one more call and then we done. One more call. One more call. One more call. Can I get somebody that support or or thinks different than what I think about um, any of these topics? Someone who thinks different? You know, I... I I like the people to come in that that uh you know that share my thought process, but I really I really would like it to hear opposition. Like tell me where I'm wrong at 
and explain to me where we were where I'm wrong. You know, let's do that for a change. Y'all do it in the comment section. Just 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 call the number. Or not, you know, you can just stay in the comment section and, and go to war like y'all been doing. Either you know, either way, either way it works. Either way it works, man. What's up, Morris? I ain't seen you in a while, man. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the channel's growing, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate everybody that's helping it grow. Um, and all that stuff. Pretend the like button is LeBron, y'all. <laughs> and hit it. No, nah, no diddy, man. <laughs> no, nah, man. Pretend the like button is J Lo or <laughs> Megan Good or somebody like that. Oh man, don't hit the don't hit LeBron, man. <laughs> hit the like button for sure, though. Um. All right, this will be the last call. Caller from New York, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? What's good? How you doing? I'm good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, cut YouTube right? off in the background. I hear it. I hear gotcha. it echoing. Gotcha. Can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. Okay. This is my thing, right? The whole debate with this LeBron stuff is silly to me. It stops when he joined Miami. You can't cut a corner and then get compared to Michael Joy. It just don't make any sense. Right. So Katie, Steph, all those dudes to me, yeah. they all sitting at a different table from Magic, Bird, Jordan, all those guys. Fact. They're great players, but you can't basketball been played since nineteen forty six. We had the same standard for over fifty, sixty years. This guy changes it and now we're supposed to get along and go along with that. That's not what's up. And that's just the facts. Is he a great player? Absolutely. Yep. Is he a joy? Absolutely not. That's it. That's a good call. I, and I like that, man. That it's a different table that they're sitting at. And, and it's not because of their talent. It's because the path that they took to achieve what they achieved was a was a shortcut. You know, so join, joining up with the other greats that you're supposed to be battling it against, you kind of lose a little bit of uh of, of of the sting of what you actually did, man. So you're right, Wade. LeBron, uh, Ky- um, uh, Curry, all of them, uh, and KD. Those four guys are supposed to be on the level with top ten guys, Facts. and they still going to be in the top ten. Uh, they they yeah. that good, but when you start trying to go above that top ten to top five and be compared with yeah. Mike Mike Kobe, <laughs> uh, nah, bro. Like, cause as, as far as the how good you are on your talent level, we ain't seen that like Mike Kobe. We ain't seen nothing like LeBron, Curry, or KD. Right. We ain't Agreed. seen that like that. But the only thing keeping them from being in that Mike Kobe conversation and sitting at that table with Bird and Magic and, all, and Kobe and Mike is because you took shortcuts and continued to take shortcuts. Right. You know, so I mean, nah, I mean, it's, I, I, I can't I can't do it in good conscience, man. It, it'd be disrespectful for the uh, guys who did it the hard way to uh, compare the guys who did it the easy way with them. But, yeah, thanks for the That's call, man. With no problem. Have a good night, man. Yep. All right, y'all. That's the show, man. Uh, only three topics today. We didn't get a fourth topic in there, man. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, make sure you leave comments. Make sure you're ready uh, on Friday with the full panel. We'll be here at the same time on Friday with the full panel, and we'll have more topics for y'all, man. And and feel free, man. If y'all if y'all want to throw in, in, you know, some topics y'all want to hear. Y'all can always text that number that was on the screen uh, uh, and, and give me some topics that y'all want to hear, man. But other than that, man, I appreciate all the love, man. I appreciate appreciate that one super chat we got, all the comments and all the call-ins, man. I'll see y'all on Friday. Peace. <laughs>